from Los Angeles to a worldwide audience, this is Boaz Power TV, where we take your life to the next level. Now, internationally known speaker and author, here's Boaz. Hi, welcome to The Power Show. You are part of The Power Nation, and I'm so delighted that you're here. This is episode number 148, Boaz Power TV. Here we take your life to the next level by helping you improve your relationships, your attitude, your finances, and your career. This episode I call a championship team. May I introduce you to a championship team? There are 28 members of this team. They come from diverse backgrounds. They emulate Olympic caliber techniques to achieve greatness. Their coach, although new to the leadership of this team, has quickly brought them together with her enthusiasm, dedication, and above average attitude. This is no ordinary team. This amazing team is one particular sixth grade class in Orange County, California. The demographics of the families of this school district are such that you would find in middle-class America. Their coach, we'll call her Sunny, didn't let that deter her. She decided from the first day of school to lead her team with the following mantra, every day I play like a champion, which is ironically the sign right over my shoulder, right over here in the bright yellow, every day I play like a champion. I was introduced to Sunny and um, before she was to start teaching at her new school. This was her second year in the profession. Since much of my work as a professional speaker is based on seeing people as champions, we started talking about the upcoming school year and what we would do to affect her students in a powerful and positive way. What can I do to make these kids feel more important and special? Asked Sunny. And I said, why not treat them like champions from the moment you meet them? Why not treat them like champions from the moment you meet them? One of the books I promote is Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People. And great book. Get it if you don't have it. He says, give people a good name to live up to. Give people a good name to live up to. That's a good name to give people to live up to. A champion. And so in the Carnegie book, he states, that we should indeed give people a good name to live up to. And Sunny agreed that that's exactly what she was going to do. Hers would be a championship team and she was to be their coach. Sunny proudly accepted her new role and got very excited about the opportunity to mold the lives of her students in a very positive way. She soon started decorating her new classroom with numerous copies of that sign, every day I play like a champion. And that's the same sign that appears over the locker room door in Notre Dame. The football team, as they go down the stairway, they touch the sign on the way out. Now, this is a slightly different version than their sign. Their sign says, play like a champion. Today, I've chosen the ongoing, every day, I play like a champion. Now, the psychological impact is important of a sign like this. By touching the sign on a regular basis, by high-fiving it, on a regular basis, certain positive messages are instantly sent to the subconscious mind. When enough of those signals are sent over a long period of time, the self-image begins to take on those traits. To hedge her bets, Sunny posted at least 10 of the Every Day I Play Like a Champion sign in her classroom. In a classroom that began to look more like a locker room of a Super Bowl team, she also incorporated a um, citizenship Olympics chart that encouraged her team members to go for the gold. There were other championship decorations throughout the room. Do you get the idea of what was created here for these kids? So you should have seen the eyes of the sixth grade students when they walked into this championship room on the first day of school. They obviously loved the concept. Who wouldn't? Sunny relates that you could feel the energy in the air. Sunny, the coach, began immediately to implement her winning strategies. One of the first assignments she gave her players was to have each one sketch a picture of their right shoe. Yes, their right shoe. This was to signify starting off on the right foot. The players then wrote how they were personally going to start off on the right foot. Here's what some of them wrote. Quote, I want to think and act positive in the classroom. Another wrote, 
I'm going to help others. Yet another team member wrote, I'm going to finish all my classwork on time. What a great response to being looked at as a champion. One of Sonny's team members, Jimmy, had a learning disability. However, his heart and soul were very well developed. His statement read as follows, I will always try my best. I know that I won't always get good grades, but I know I am a champion. Isn't that amazing? All of us could learn from Jimmy and from Coach Sonny. What if we all played like a champion every day and simply did our best? When we play like one long enough, we are one. Now a number of weeks into Sonny's championship season, she was proud to report that all team members were on track, the championship track. Parents who visited the championship classroom each were given a every day I play like a champion sign to take home so the kids could touch it at home also. Sunny found with the unique atmosphere that she created that she also connected with the parents in a very special way. The parents were very impressed and pleased with the amazing things that Coach Sunny was doing with their children. After the parents visited the classroom, it was obvious that the coach, the parents, and the students were all playing the same positive game. Everyone was on the same field with the same powerful game plan. Sonny knew she was on the right track when at the end of one school day, Jimmy, who I mentioned earlier, came by her desk and said, thanks coach for making it another great day. Wow. What if every elementary school room in the nation was decorated like Sonny's? What if every teacher pretended to be a coach and treated his or her students like champions? What if every parent treated their child like a champion? A positive impact would be made that would last a lifetime. There you have it. And the affirmation for this episode of Boaz Power TV, you may want to write it down. I am unique. I am special. Every day I play like a champion. I am unique. I am special. Every day I play like a champion. Thank you for joining me. If you like these messages and many people around the world find them to be highly productive, please do me a favor, forward this to five people you know, suggest they go to my website, boazpower.com, and they can subscribe to the free weekly broadcast on Boaz Power TV, and perhaps we can help them, their kids, their friends, or whoever become even better champions. You are special, you are unique, you are destined for greatness. And in light of today's message, I look at you and say, I see it in you. You are a champion. Have a powerful day. This has been Boaz Power TV. To comment, see other episodes, or to subscribe to this free broadcast, go to our blog at boazpower.com. That's boazpower.com. We're here to take your life to the next level.